What's up Trilogy fam? Gabby here today bringing you another episode of Trilogy On Demand. We've got a core focused cardio workout. Alright fam, before we get started with the cardio workout, we're going to do a couple of down dogs. That's all we're going to need to get our body warm. You'll be nice and warm the entire time. So grab a couple of down dogs, start at the end of your mat, feet parallel, bring yourself down, walk yourself out nice and slow. Hike yourself up, butt in the air, slight bend in those knees, all the way down the tops of those toes and into your hands. Feel the heat start to generate. Kind of stretch yourself, feel that stretch in your back. Slowly come up to the plank. And shift back. Just starting to generate a little bit of heat. Readjust yourself as needed. Just make sure our shoulders are staying over the wrists. And come back up. And we can pedal here a little bit. Feel it. All right. We're gonna come up to up dog. Just to get our abs a little bit stretched before we start to crunch them. Two couple of deep breaths. And when you're ready, come back up to up, down dog, from up dog. Head down, arms up, weight on the toes. Pedal those feet if you want. All right, got some heat generated. Walk yourself up nice and slow, readjust. Alright, now we're going to start our first move. Alright fam, ready for this if you are. Got my shirt tucked in so I don't have to readjust as much because we're going to be doing a lot of movement. Every move we're going to go from cardio to core, cardio to core. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Those breaks, I'll tell you what the moves are. Alright, here we go, starting with jumping jacks, 30 seconds here. Make sure we're breathing. Like I said, the only heat you needed to generate was from the down dog. We're going to get plenty of heat here. Feel that blood start to circulate during this cardio boot camp. A couple more seconds here. Then we're going to go to the ground for our first core move. All right, shake that. You have 15 seconds of rest here. All right, we're going to come down to our mat, lay back flat. Feet flat on the floor, knees bent, arms straight, and crunching up, prayer crunches. Here we go, let's go, 30 seconds of these. Breathe through each move, squeeze your core, and try not to strain your neck too, too much. Use those core muscles to bring you up and down, and breathe through. Breathe out as we come up. And point, three, two, one. All right, fast transition coming up. We still have 15 seconds of rest here. We're going to butt kicks. General and traditional butt kick, moving in place like so. If you can't do that, plenty of work here. And here we go, butt kicks for 30 seconds. Breathe throughout. You can pump your arms a little bit if you feel like it. Get your side view. So you see both feet coming up, heels tapping the bum. Keep going. Try not to lean forward like I just was. Keep your posture up, back straight. Breathe through the movement. All right, couple seconds. And here we go, break. 15 seconds, and we're gonna go to reverse crunches. Back on the floor, on our back, knees bent, feet flat, and we're gonna tap up and down. Here we go, let's get it, 30 seconds. Keep your hands flat on the floor, and cross your feet if you would like. We're using that lower core to get that movement. Keeping that back flat is very important. Squeeze your core. Nice and slow and controlled move. Keep it up. You're doing great. All right, shake it out. We're coming back up. We're gonna do a spot sprint. 
What does that mean? We're gonna stay in the same spot. That was very elegant, I apologize. You stay in the same spot, or we're just gonna sprint in place, all right? A couple of seconds here. Give me all you got, let's go. 30 seconds. Use your arms, use your legs, best as you can in that one spot. Really generating heat, Woo! Keep it up. How's this cardio? It's getting in. Let's go, let's go. We're almost done. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Keep going. A few more seconds. Woo! And rest. All right, back to the floor. Hitting bicycles. Keeping that back flag again. Remember, opposite arm, opposite elbow, opposite leg. Back flat. Here we go in three, two, one. Opposite, opposite. 30 seconds here. Squeeze that core. Keep that back flat. Pedal, pedal, pedal. This is a great workout to do. Just when you're thinking a little bit of core move, movement, finish it at the end of the workout. Whatever you want. Three, two, one, whoo! Pop them back up, here we go. Next we're gonna do standing hip rotators. So sounds kind of funny. We're gonna go like this, and like this, and like this, and like this, pretty quickly. All right, I'm gonna step off my mat for this one. Here we go, two feet, two feet. Slight bend in those knees. Basically just getting the hips to rotate. Get a little bit of hop and keep that cardio flow. Breathe. Try to keep the same amount of weight on both feet. All right, shake it out. You got 15 seconds of rest. All right, next move is V ups. Back on the floor. Keep it down. Back flat. Legs up in a V. And up. Exhale. As we come up. And up. Keep it going. Squeeze that core. Couple more seconds. Rest. Review. More. You got it. Ooh, that really generated some heat for me. Coming back up, doing some air punches, all right? We're just gonna keep moving, keep jolting around, and we're gonna punch, all right? Here we go. Move and punch. Punch the air. You can stay in one spot and just keep punching. You're getting plenty of cardio work here, or you can move, kind of hop, punch, jab, cross, whatever you wanna do. Just keep those arms moving and keep them up. Couple more, then we're gonna go back to the ground, you know it. Keep it up and shake it out. Back to the ground, oblique crunches. Here we go. Shake it out, couple more selves. Coming up, opposite leg, come up. Opposite elbow, so that opposite leg. Make these slow and controlled. Really use your core to bring yourself up. Don't use momentum from hitting off the floor. Slow and controlled. I'd rather get four good crunches than 10 crappy ones, right? Just like that, those are done. Back up, going to jump rope in place. And after this, we got one more ab move and one more surprise move. We're done. Here we go, let's jump rope and play. Let's get it. You can jump on both feet. Jump on one. Make sure you get the other. Just keep hopping. Tiny little hops. Pretend you have a jump rope. You don't have to pretend you have a jump rope. Whatever you want. Get a little dance move in there. Woo! Shake it out. Just keep jumping. Couple more seconds. Breathe. And there we go, back to the floor. Holding that boat pose in a few seconds. 
Feel free to grab a sip of water if need be. And we're gonna hold the boat pose. In three, two, one, here we go. Feet off the ground, hands reach to your sides, hold your core tight. You can cross those legs if you need. Lower back you go. More difficult this is gonna be. Here we go. Breathe through this movement. And just hold yourself up. You're gonna shake. This is the end of it. We're almost done. Breathe. You're stronger now. Here we go. Woo! Shake it out. All right. We got 30 seconds left. Plank hold. Shake it out. Let's hold the plank together. In a few seconds. Here we go. We're gonna count it. And we're gonna go up. And hold for 30 seconds. Make sure those shoulders are over those wrists. You can widen your feet a little bit. Butt down. Breathe. Use your core. Hold. You can go down to your forearms if necessary. A couple more seconds. Hold it, hold it. Five more seconds. You guys got this. Let's go. All right. Bring your knees down to the mat. We'll go straight into child's pose. Stretch out that core. Breathe. Catch your breath here for a moment. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Arms out wide, long. Slowly bring yourself back up to a tabletop position. And from here, we'll take a couple of cat cows. Cat cow, we're bringing our stomach down, curving our back, head up. And on that exhale, bringing our stomach in and rounding our shoulders. Head up. And in. Really stretching that core. We just worked the heck out of it. Breathe in. And breathe out. Stretch everything here. And then we'll come back down to the mat. And we'll do an upward facing dog. Our quads are flat on the mat. Our shoulders are up. Our core is up. Our palms are down. And we're stretching upwards and leaning back and feeling that pull, that good pull in our lower core. And breathe through this movement. Take a couple of breaths. Many of you like. And whenever you're ready, come back on up. And just like that, cardio boot camp is done. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. And have a fabulous day.